What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Bernice. And Sammy. Back with another epic video. Okay, so today we decided to do a video on how you know you're wasting your time. So I have four points that we're going to be touching on and after those four points, after each one, we're just going to elaborate on a little bit. Most of it is going to be from my personal experience with these men, boys. Kelly on a mm. big boy. These boys out here. And from her, she mostly gets secondhand experience because... She's of all the stories she tells me. Yeah. You know what's funny? I've never dated and I'm 18. Haven't dated all 18 years of my life. Ain't no but you know, ain't nothing, ain't nothing wrong with that. But you wanna know what's funny? What? Every single time people come to me for advice, and I'm not in a relationship. Cause she does give good advice. So. Mm -hmm. It is what it is. Cause it's common sense. You're just the yin to my yin. You don't play with these little boys. The peanut butter to my jelly. The bread to my. I don't butter. like jelly. I like strawberry jam. The bread to my butter. I hate butter. Girl, my first point is he is only focused on sex. Elaborate on that. You elaborate on that. You got more <laughs> Okay, so we all know you know you can have those conversations with a guy and straight off the bat it goes from hi, how are you? Good and you, that's good. And then your name is okay, my name is okay, how old are you? Okay. So I'm saying though. And then you do have those dudes that you know they put on a little conversation, they zazz you up a little bit, put a little bit of lemon pepper on that conversation, and all of a sudden they say, hey, you wanna hang out with me? And you should already know what's coming. And bam, they hit you with it. Mm. And then you get those bozos who come in your inbox be like, hey, you cute. Hey, you find it on a beat. Hey, dude, I'm saying though. Be like, you trying to be? You trying to chill. You, you ready for this? I'm trying to vibe with you. What? <laughs> what's a vibe? What's a vibe? Like, be like that's we too grown for that, honey. Sit down. What is, what is a vibe? Honestly and truly, comment down below because I want to know what is a vibe. We clap them in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Point number two. How to tell you're wasting your time. You can never have clear communication with this person. Communication is just not clear. I mean, from you trying to figure out where you stand with this person to you trying to understand how they feel about you, communication is just finito. You're going around in circles and confusion is a big result of this. I can testify to not having clear communication with a person. Not that I was one that didn't have clear communication, but I can testify to that part where I was just in confusion, my head hurting me, I'm taking ibuprofen every four hours because I'm trying to figure out what. That alone should tell you like you wasting your time and it's time to get out of there, kick boot and hill, run for the hills like <laughs> Run! <laughs> Number three, no accountability. And this goes for either end of the party, depending on who it is, but for the sake of it being us wasting our time with men, guys, mm -hmm. boys. The dude population, there's no accountability. And I, when I say this, I mean they don't want to take responsibility for anything. They don't want you to blame them for anything. Anything that was really their fault, they'll find some way to blame it on their dog. They'll find some way to blame it on their mom. They'll find a way to blame it on you, especially. And that right there is a big no-no for me. A big no-no because that tells me that he's not mature. And he's not willing to own up to his own mistakes. So if you see that, like I said, run for the hill. I was gonna pay you back to point number two. Another factor to tell that you're wasting your time. If this dude don't have a car, sis, run. Oh, I that. mean that. he wants to depend on you. That means all his funding is coming from you. Every little food, every little snack he want is coming from you. You gotta pick him up for days. You paying for them dates. We don't do that. Mm -mm. The man is supposed to lead in the relationship. I'm not saying that the sis is, sis is supposed to just be, you know, lay back. settle and lay back and submissive. No. But for majority, like, majority, he should be the leader. We have some hardworking females out here, and that's Ooh. good. Parts and females, all about women empowerment. However, that dude, if he can't show up, Can if he can't boy? put up, he got Jesus, to step. That's it. Point number four. <laughs> and I'm not saying this is to bash the men watching this video. It's not to bash you. But we're talking to the majority of young men 
who are older men yeah. who still do this mm -hmm. that are not meeting up to certain criteria that they should have already mm -hmm. hit the threshold point of. And no more women wasting time and then we sitting here crying boo boo tears, calling up our best friend saying, girl, you know he did it, it, it. No. So after that advice that she gave you, you still gonna go right back. So, so come on, come on, come on, let's be real. Let's keep it real. The tea is exceptionally good today. Point number four is you are not a priority. Period. You always on the back burner. He takes you back three, four hours later. Not saying that this dude could not be working or be busy, but let me tell you something. If he really into you, he gonna, if he, he gonna make a way out of nowhere. He gonna cross the desert in hot waters. He gonna step on burning stones. But you know, you got what I'm saying. Some of them will. So, okay. The crazy ones stay away from those. <laughs> When they're wasting their time, you're not the first person they want to text back because they got five other females on the line they're trying to get to. They're trying to keep up a conversation with. And you, being silly, actually sit here and wait. Been there, done that, so I can justify it. Even when you're just in the talk stage, you're going to know. Because if them texts is coming in slow and the conversation is not even. Yeah. Yeah. Cut it off and let's go. That's it. That's it. Don't waste no time. We, we too grown now to be sitting here talking about something. Well, I'll just wait and see. What you waiting and seeing for? He already showed you from the first um, yeah. message. Yeah. Come on. What you, what you waiting for? More than half of these little boys out here, they take away time from education. They take away time from a business you might be trying to go grow. They take away time from even your spiritual walk with God. And we don't have time for that. Trust me, the right dude will come along and wait. And if you're not a lot of A lot of girls don't want to wait. That's the thing. Yeah. A lot, and not even just a lot of a lot of... People in general don't run away. Yeah, the fa there's no fast track. So but there's no fast track. Actually, no, there's no fast track to this. It's just really focusing on yourself. I have to really learn what self love is. It's just really focusing on what you got going on. Putting investing time into you, like that's just our point. And also another way to cut out who the dudes are and aren't. Another way to make start training for your for um your potential or how do I say this? A way to, uh, to start grooming yourself and how you handle conversations when a guy come along, hit them with what your standards are. Hit them with your boundaries. If they say, oh, I don't do this and this and this. If you already see that it, that they not want to keep up with the conversation after that, if you say that they start lagging with the conversation, they leave you on red. Just drop it. Because your standards were too high. And I honestly know it's, I don't think that's serious. I don't think there's anything that's too high of a standard. I think it's more of if you start to put your preferences in there, if you get what I'm saying, there's a difference between preferences and standards. Mm -hmm. Preferences is what you like, standards well, is what you, you need. It's like it's three, needed. Specifically, six That's a preference. of a height. That's a preference. Come on, girl. But a standard is something you can't shake on. It's something yeah. that you're building a relationship on. Like me, us, our faith of God. Yeah. You have to be on the same level. That's a standard. But overall, just in general, religion or no religion, these are just some of the things that you need to look out for to know that you're wasting your time and this dude is here not for the right reason. So, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. bell. And don't forget to share with your friends and stay tuned. So, catch us on our next video. Besides that, bye.